is the biggest high of my life. Football is all about the glitz, the glamour, who has the most fans, moaning about attendances, we took more than you, etc. The world's biggest football stadium is actually in North Korea, but I feel as though that one might be slightly off limits. So, it got me thinking, what is the world's smallest football stadium? Well, first of all, the dictionary definition of a stadium is as follows. A large closed area of land with rows of seats around the sides and often with no roof used for sports events and musical performances. We need to bear that in mind for later in the video. And it just turns out, somewhere that fits that exact description is in England of all places. London to be exact. Welcome to my journey to the world's smallest football stadium and welcome to Away Days. I thought we'd start today at a massive stadium just to sort of go with and sort of set the scene as to how small the place we're going to is. Yeah, I completely agree, mate. You're a good lad, aren't you? Enjoy your tank fast sticks. I'm more of a star mix guy. If you throw it underarm, I'll catch it in my mouth. Oh, no! No! What's just happened there is I've been quite confrontational. That's really not me. It's ended nicely. I've got some tank fast sticks. Anyway, it's a massive stadium, is the point I was trying to make. And we're going to the world's smallest today. If anyone watching this can help us get to the world's biggest stadium in North Korea, I'm, I'm being serious, I will do it. Right, that's a weird start. <laughs> Morning, Ed. Morning. Um, Ed was just saying off camera, he's been to three contests in his life. Yep. Two of them will take that. Two take that, the other one's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go buy a grape, because I need to prove it. I don't know why it is, but if it's a grape, any distance is fine, honestly. I'm gonna get a whole pint of grape just to prove a point. Right, here we go. Oh, well, he's Right, come on. Did you get it? You missed it again! <laughs> There's the grape. <laughs> you lost it. This was the no-brainer. This was the banker. This was the one that couldn't fail. This was one that's never failed. Let's go to the ground. It's a man's drink. Martini. It's a man's drink. It's just not a cocktail, is it? It looks like dark fruits. Something Star Martini done. Let's get to the stadium and see the world's smallest football stadium. Let's go. We've arrived at the world's smallest football stadium and the club is, bit of a drum roll. Peckham Town Football Club. We'll, we'll explore why it is more when we get inside. But before we get inside, a huge thanks to this video's sponsor, HelloFresh. And it's not just me HelloFresh are helping, they're also helping out you by providing 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next two months if you download using the link at the top of the description. Always QR code on screen and use my code when signing up Yes, you can get 60% off your first month and 25% off the next two. If you weren't already aware, HelloFresh makes meals simple, which is so handy for me with all the traveling I do. It cuts out the faff, everything's sent to me. It's quick and it's easy and you follow instructions too. It is a lifesaver. And their brand new app that you can see overlaid on screen has made things even simpler by allowing you to schedule and sort deliveries all in one handy free app. Just look at how simple it is to cook a meal with them. Yes, it's so simple, you just saw me there cook the crispy Cajun fried chicken. Very simple, and you can also get 60% off your first month and then 25% off the next two by downloading using my link, always QR code on screen now, and using the code for on screen as well at checkout. Check out HelloFresh and a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. It helps us no end having sponsors come on board to support the content, so if you can support them as well, that'd be amazing. Anyway, let's get back to Peckham. Got a bit of a YouTube medley today. We've got Ed Chapman, Stunt Peg, Live in the Flesh. I think this is the first time on the channel, maybe. We've known each other for years. You keep asking me and I keep saying no. And then... I finally made, thanks to the, the sponsorship on this video, I've managed to actually finally pay the fee. We have arrived at the world's smallest football stadium and I'm currently in the world's smallest football stand. This is brilliant. I love this. This is amazing. Got this tiny, I reckon you could fit about 10 people in here. Uh, do you want to see the steps to get up to the world's smallest stand? This one's my beats as well. There you are. <laughs> Concrete blocks. Concrete blocks to get up to the stand. Do you want to get in the stand, Neve? What's the view like? Decent, actually. All of Peckham. All of Peckham. If you want to win £20, <laughs> <laughs> comment down below how many people do you think could fit in this stand? That's a good shout, actually, because there will never be a right answer, so I won't actually have to give away the £20. <laughs> 
Anyway, here's some quick fire facts about Peckham Town FC. They were founded in 1982 by a 13 year old. They lost their first ever game 18 0. They play in the 11th tier of English football. They're managed by ex England international Mary Phillip, and they're one of two teams in the world to have a manager that has played over 65 times for England. The other team is DC United with Wayne Rooney. They even have their own set of ultras, which are going to be just stood just there during the game, which is very exciting. And finally, that 13 year old that founded the club is now 52 and is coach chairman, groundsman, and all-round runner for the club as well. That is how long he's been with the club. The founder is still a part of the club to this very day. Ellis, <laughs> that's really cringy, I've done that. That's nearly as bad as the intro. Also, if we get 10,000 likes on this, we will do the world's smallest international football stadium, which I believe I already know where it is. I'm saying that now because someone steals the idea, like with all my other ones. Hello. what I covered in the intro, replay the line of what the definition of a stadium is. A large closed area of land with rows of seats around the sides and often with no roof, used for sports events and musical performances. It's actually very hard to define what the world's smallest football stadium is because there's so many clubs like this, especially in England, which are like non-league grounds that have capacities under a thousand, but there's never a specific capacity number. So with the world's smallest stand here, I think it's a great narrative. It's a very like beautiful community club. You've got this stand here, we've got supporters go to another stand behind there. But that is hopefully where we're going to be for the game in the world's smallest stand. Alice. Hi, how are you? Doing, Duncan. Yeah, good to meet you. Thank you. Please welcome. One, two, three. Here we are. Three tickets have been paid for, officially in. I mean, it's the same. We just had to come back out and then pay for entry, but got five raffle, t raffle tickets. This is our moment. I feel, I'm feeling lucky today. Yeah? Yeah. Um, program included with entry as well, five pound. Five pound to come watch some football. You get a program. Nifty. <laughs> <laughs> Nifty. So I'm joined by, would you like to introduce yourself? Yep, my name's Duncan Hart, the club development manager at Peckham Town FC. You've got your world's smallest stand right hat on. We were just chatting about the way it was found. So uh, Jackie, uh, well, our club secretary, uh, used to record the games. She still does occasionally and she uh, had a, a TV tower put in the corner of the ground. But it's not actually the best position, I don't think, to record games from. Yeah, no, no, I agree. So a few years ago, me and Brian, the chairman, just said, well, let's do something else with it. And I thought, well, let's just open up to the anyone's come to stand on it. I mean, I was like, it's pretty small. It could be, therefore, the world's smallest stand. I think it definitely is the world's and smallest stand. I haven't found any, anyone else that's got a, a stand that small. Looking on the internet and, you know, nobody's arguing against it. It's two metres by two metres. I've had 11 in it. 11, so... That was a big squeeze. Neve speculated you get 15, but it's 11. I'll try and break it today. Yeah, break the record today? Break the record yeah, today. Let's get above 11, get to 12 at least, and see if we can push it to 15. You never know. Cheers to the world's smallest stadium. Asterix, Cheers. you know. Pretty much music, give, give us some moves. This is all I've got on my locker. Look at this. <laughs> people, if people aren't already clicked off, <laughs> the engagement, the engagement is just else? off a cliff. Potential flag here. Um, about five minutes to kick off. The goal on both sides have not been... No, no. In non-league, I don't know if you know, but that's that's how it works. <laughs> they have to. How's it? How are they scoring? In the back of the net. Oh, we go. Very nice. Did this intro on the club has? Oh, <laughs> well, you could have listened to it. Oh, we're back. There's another YouTube arrival here from America. Here we go. I think I think you're not fitting 15 people in here is my assessment. Definitely not. <laughs> Before we break it. <laughs> just, he just danced. You made it. Oh, we're like two minutes to spare. I'm good. For anyone who needed clarifying, Peckham are in red and white and the opposition who is really bad at me, I haven't done research into, are in yellow and blue. Come on, Peckham. God, world smaller stand, world biggest atmosphere for me. Yeah, go on, start a chant, Ed. Peckham. Pack em, pack em. Pack em, pack em. Pack em, pack em, pack em. Good game today, linesman. Have a good one. Never worn a pair of socks that look that good. Alright. Jesus, it's a family channel. Pack em. They're kicking you out. What, for what? Being... <laughs> I've been a hooligan. That's what you are. He's gonna break the world's smallest thing. <laughs> Nothing silly. I'm concerned that the keeper's given quite a lot of the goal to aim at. Oh, it's bobbled in. Oh. <laughs> I'll leave it. <laughs> I 
I love the lot. You couldn't even carry on the shtick for long enough to not laugh. I've got to try it again. Annoyed. So <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> Yep. What type of beer have you gone for? Peckham uh, Pills. Yes, I asked the lady for her favorite beer. She pointed at this one, said nothing, so I knew she meant business. So, not only is this a very inclusive club, a very cool club, the world's smallest stand, it's also got their kit and the stand sponsored by Beats, which is just for. <gasps> Go! Come on! Come on. Uh, hit that, hit that. Oh! Oh! There we go. Now we're rocking. Go on. Okay. Oh, oh. Why have you headed that? That was, that was the least logical thing to do. Ed, could you bang the stand and let, let's see what, what it sounds like? We've got different definitions of the word bang. All right, give us a dun, dun, da da dun, da 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 dun, pack up. Pack up! Come on, pack up! <laughs> <laughs> the different, the, the American and the, the pessimistic Yorkshire man. Also, I, I absolutely adore this club and I love these steps. Because look at the steps up to the stand. It the is stand. just... <laughs> What's the corner thing, Kieran. Kieran Downing. Good delivery, Kieran. Oh, it's a bit of a cold response really, wasn't it? It's a bit, a bit cold there. Come on, Kieran. Got it. Ah. Oh. In the programme, there is a chant to the tune of Hookie Street, the Only Fools and Horses outro. So I'm going to pretend I knew that. Feel free to all join in, because if not, I will hate myself. Um, so, God bless Peckham Town. Viva Peckham Town. Long live Peckham Town. Magnifique Peckham Town. Magnifique Peckham Town. Peckham Town. Peckham Town. Peckham Town. Come on, Peckham! Oh no, it's 2 0. <sighs> Essentially, it's 2 0. We're in the world's smallest stand, and we've, we've, we need the world's smallest violin at the moment. Here we go. Oh, back to the right, Jack! Back to the right! To the right, Jack! <laughs> Left! Left! Right! <laughs> Left! Right! Jack! Jack! <laughs> that keeper's called Jack, by the way, if anyone watching is wondering what's going on. Oh, I want to get a nice little hello from Jack. Is it is it intruder on the pitch? I don't feel like he's allowed to be a coach from there. Yeah, he's getting ushered away. There we go. Come back, come past us. Oh, here we go. He's gonna feel our wrath. Come on, let's speed that walk up, please. What? What? I've got my badges. My, my Cubs badges. Yeah, I said that quietly. Yes. Come on now. Great, mate. You're a good lad. No! Good shift out there. <laughs> half time, half time it is. Let's find out if we won the raffle and also let's go buy a t shirt. Here we go, raffle time. Today's raffle number winner is ticket number 536. No, 539, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 539. Oh my god, we won! <laughs> We actually won! This is the biggest high of my life! We won! Oh yes! We actually won the raffle! The winning ticket! 539! So this is a man I mentioned earlier in the video, I actually mentioned you. You founded the club when you were 13, you're still here. Crazy. Would you like to just chat about this club and what it means to you? It's everything. As I said to uh, everyone that comes and asks me this, I'm football mad passionate. It was only natural that I was going to do something like this. I decided to to go down my local library one Saturday and found out that in every English town there's a football team. So I said, well, where's ours? <laughs> so I'm going to crazy. I'm going to go and make one. And I decided I'll make it and everybody laughed. The rest is history. We've got over 30 teams here now. <laughs> and over 40 years this club's yeah. been here. And where do you see the club in like say 10 years time? What's your what's your hope? I'm hoping we'll still be here again, still doing what we're doing now. It's a great community club, it's an inclusive club. You've got the beat sponsorship, you've got the world's smallest stand. I think just anyone that sees the video, I'd love to see them come down and get involved as well. More than merry, come down to Menace and check out the world's smallest and also just check out the locals, they're really friendly here. Zealand sport a kit. I have. I'm buying two. One two three. kits? I'm going to get a Dennis the Menace t-shirt, I think. 
He's a natural dancer. I'm so wooden. Sorry, could I um could I get two Dennis the Men? Oh, I've just dropped my raffle ticket. That was the winner. It's just gone. I'm I'm loving this evening. It's nice to come down to a club that's warm. It feels warm, doesn't it? There we go. That's what it means to win. That is what it means to win. Dennis the Menace, t-shirt on. It's about 35 minutes to go in the game. Results not looking great, but I am. Must be nerve-wracking taking a corner here. The Menace behind you. A man in a Dennis the Menace t-shirt. Must be quite nerve-wracking. Two, two, two! Five, 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 five. That's a great corner. Oh, I like that. Save. Two! It's just the same delivery again. What's the point in doing the little signals? I never get that because I've One. never been... Uh, even professional footballers can't put a corner when they want to. No. So why at this level do we do the, you know, the two, three thing as if there's some sort of... It's not... You're just whipping the ball in the box. The linesman has had a great game. This might sound really bad for me. It might, go on. But I think the linesman might know who we are. You think? Because he's given us a, like, a bit of a wry smile. A bit of a wry smile with the camera. He's had a good game. Ref. I'm sorry if you, <laughs> if you also know. You've not had a good game here, son. You've not had a good game. I hate the fact that I'm at the age now where I can call someone younger than me his son. He might be, you know, I've been, I've sprayed it around a bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> sprayed it around a bit. Spr You're a little lad, aren't you? <laughs> In a committed relationship. For seven years, nearly. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Game on. Game on. Game on. Oh, what? Oh. No, yes. Oh. Yeah. Hit it in the... Oh, how was that? How was that? Look at that for the view in the distance. You've got people shining their light. They shine back. There you go. Flashlights there. Oh, they've turned those off. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh. Come on! That is a great goal. It's game on. Oh, the keeper. Oh, Jack. Jack. Oh, rare. I feel like this is a nice way to end the games. Done. Zealand, stunt peg, Ed, in one place. It's a weird, one of the weirdest YouTube crossover ever. <laughs> the result wasn't to be, but what a fantastic club, a fantastic stadium. Let's get back home. Great day, great company, great football club. Get down there and support your local non-league team. There's loads of amazing stories like the one of Peckham Town. And if you're ever near Peckham, get down and watch one of their games. It's a fantastic club with a fantastic mindset around it. It's an inclusive football club as well with the world's smallest stand. Make sure to check out HelloFresh at the top of the video description as well. I'll see you very soon for more away days and more football shirt content. Ciao, ciao. Bye.